Yeah, I got a new tripod, so... Yay, warranties! Hey guys, it's Michael. It's, day, it's Veda Day 25. Um, and today I'm here to do a review on Redeployment by Phil Clay. First off, I'm glad I actually finished another book this month because if you haven't been following me, it's been hard to read uh, for these past couple of days just because of Veda. Um, that just takes up so much time. My god. I saw about the reason why I bought this book was because I saw it on a lot of um, different uh, websites and magazines like GQ was talking about it, um, People Magazine, and so they were giving really good high praises for it saying it's one of the books that you need to be reading right now. So I bought the book and let me tell you, stop this video, go read it. That's how good it was. Um, it lived up to to all my expectations. I loved it. It is definitely one of my favorite books of this year so far. Um, it's definitely top five, that's for sure. This book is about uh, different collections um, of stories uh, collected by Phil Clay. He did a little bit of, he, he talked to a whole bunch of people basically. And it just shows you the psyche and mentality of what soldiers go to n go through not only through deployment but when they come back home and how they adjust to uh, living essentially a normal life what i loved about it was it was brutal but it was unrelentless like it did, it hold nothing back um and that's why i love it it's i when i was reading it i felt as though it's like a good friend was telling me a story about what they went through. Um, each story is really interesting and I love the pacing, how it switches back and forth between um, being deployed and then coming back home, being deployed and coming back home, and then so the stories go back and forth. Um, and every time, like, just the mindset is incredible just reading about each and every single story. I did wish that they provided maybe it's like... Um, a page or something uh, with the different acronyms uh, just because I mean I had a look um, through uh, <laughs> there is one chapter where they use so many acronyms and um, so many uh, like language that I'm not accustomed to I had to look it up and that chapter literally is only like a couple of pages but it took me a while because I was like what does this mean what does this mean I mean I live in a military town but I know a few of the words, um, but oh my god, that chapter was, uh, I didn't, I, yeah. Uh, but that's my only gripe, I mean, even without it, it's still great. I just wish that maybe they provided that just because I don't know a lot of the lingo that they used, especially in that chapter, uh, so that would have been really helpful. Probably my favorite story in this one is um, about a chaplain um, who hears other soldiers uh, problems and it's the person that they go to if they have any questions um, like any spiritual guidance or that type of thing uh, that chapter is incredible um, also the writing let's talk about the writing the writing in here I loved it had some great quotes you can tell picked a lot of quotes in here um, it, was, oh, it was so good it's very um, simple but it it's like but almost poetic in a way um, I like the simplicity of it, but at the same time, it still has um, some really good. Uh, it has some really good substance in that way. If Phil Clay writes another novel, um, I'd be excited to see because I'm really, really excited about it. I really enjoyed the book. Um, I highly recommend it. I gave this five stars out of five on Goodreads. It's was incredible. I loved it. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for beta. Bye!